Welcome to the Farkas School of Swimming. This is part two. In our first video, we covered the kick and floating. This video will cover rolling and putting it together. So let's get started. Now we're starting to put it all together. They will kick on their stomach, then roll on their backs and float when they need to breathe. I wanna talk really quick about body position as they roll. Whole body straight the whole time when it's time to roll. Notice how her hips stay up, her back stays in a straight line. Good, sorry, head back and float. And then she floats, legs out. And that's the same when she's rolling back onto her tummy. Straight line, ready, roll. Straight line, head down, body on the surface. Okay, great. Now let's put it all together and see it in action. So I grab his head, support his head. Great job, James. And then I let him float on his own. Here's a common mistake I see a lot when rolling. See how he lifts his head up, then tries to lean back to breathe instead of rolling over. Good, so you saw how when he took a breath, he rolled, he went like this to go on his back. We don't want that. We want him to always roll the float on their back because if they're on their tummy, it's just very hard for them to swing their legs under them and get all the way on their back to float. Usually there's a lot of problems with that. So again, always when you're teaching them to roll and float, you always want them to twist, not swing their legs under them. A great tool, again, is the noodle. So if they're having a hard time rolling on their back, you can have them start. I have it go here. Now, every kid has a preferable way they roll. They roll better one direction. So Margo, which way do you want to roll? This way. This way, okay. So I scoop the noodle here, so she has space to roll. So tummy up, look at that, good form. She's gonna roll right onto the noodle and then she can grab onto it if she feels nervous. Or I can grab her head. So ready, now she's gonna roll back. Ready, roll back, Margo, roll back. Here, head in the water. Okay, roll back. Use your core muscles. So this really lets her develop that core muscle needed to roll. Ready, and back. Roll. Head down. Good. Head in the water. Good. Roll back. Good job, Margo. Once they start to feel comfortable with the first three steps, it's time to put it all together. This is the exciting part when they start to swim across the pool all by themselves. All right, here she goes. Nice freestyle kick. She rolls, floats, breathes, very controlled, rolls back and keeps kicking. Small arm pulls are great too. Now here is a three-year-old doing it. Notice his kick isn't as good and he's struggling to move forward. He is also going way too fast. He needs to be on his back for at least four seconds as well as kicking on his stomach for at least four seconds. But hey, I love the hard work and the focus. Just a reminder that the pool is a very dangerous place. Even if your child can swim on their own, always keep a close eye on them. Once your child has mastered these four steps, you should check out our proper freestyle technique and treading water video. Both are linked here. Happy swimming!